to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. All right, so we'll do that. That's the DLC. You have an upgrade waiting. Some of the data that you found allow me to research and upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal on Dr. Sassoni's office at your convenience. Glyph. I don't know who Glyph is. Corian fleet. They, they, oh, now they want the Corians to help? So the council shuns the Corians for years, and now they want the Corians to help. Whatever, dude. The Argus rifle. Okay, here's the GameStop special edition stuff. The Argus rifle. And the Valkyrie assault rifle, I think. And the armor, too. And my N7 defender armor. All alliance military personnel. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Admiral Hackett has declared that that... The threat condition, Saber 1, which is probably really high. Enemy presence confirmed in Seoul. Earth is under attack. All military personnel, we are directed to evacuate the Seoul system at the first available opportunity. Do not attempt Earth approach. Heavy enemy resistance reported. Do not attempt Earth approach. Further instructions, blah, blah, blah. Basically, if you try to attempt uh, an Earth approach, you'll probably get shot down. So, I won't do that. No matter how stealthy the Normandy is, I wouldn't risk it. All right, from Stephen Hackett. Formally acknowledges your reinstatement to the Alliance Navy per David Anderson's recent verbal communication. I am authorized to assume control of the Normandy. I, blah, blah, blah. Same business as usual. I get to do whatever I want. Alliance forces are stretched thin across the galaxy. We need your specific talents for a bunch of operations. These missions open the door. Okay, I need you to head to a Cerberus lab on the planet Sanctum. Alright, so a whole bunch of emails there. Before I go anywhere, I'm going to head downstairs to... Dr. Tassoni's office is where? Oh, we'll look around. You know, it's my ship. Who cares? I'll look around. Take a look. Up oh, crew quarters. Yep. Nothing major here. Crew quarters. Bathrooms. You can no longer enter. Samara used to sit here, but she's not here anymore. I wonder if a squad mate takes up that place again. Oh no, you can't enter the women's bathroom anymore if you're a male shepherd. They changed that before you could. I did it by complete accident. Nope, no Thane. Thane's not here. Uh, it was is a poker table. This must be like the lounge room. Good, good thing, good to know that all the alliance taxpayer money is going towards this stuff, especially when Earth is about to be destroyed by giant space squids. You know, we get to have poker while we, you know, dick around and not help at all. All right, what's this? Is Miranda's old room? Oh shit! Look at this. This must be like Liara's room or something. Remember, Liara is the shadow broker, so we have so much information at our disposal. And Commander Shepard, it's a oh, that's what Glyph is. It's a combat drone. You're the drone from the shadow broker's ship. Doctor Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone. Ninety-five <laughs> percent of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. Ah. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. All right. Peace out. Oh, crap! The meeting with the council didn't go too well, huh? Nope. It was less than ideal. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy <laughs> is safe. Wow. Becoming the big info broker has turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. I'm flattered. I think. I think. Alright, here she is. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. 
We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? Yeah. They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. True. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. That's true, but I mean... Then again, it could have been a miserable failure, but it was their only option. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. Uh, it powers up the Reapers instead of killing them. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. There's hope for Earth. I appreciate you asking. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. It's good to have you back. Whoa, she teleported! Where'd she go? Okay, I'll, I'll just Thank quietly leave. The results are available on the information network terminal. All right, what is it? Upgrades, none. What is this? Armor mod kit. Our ammo capacity bonus. Oh, I guess this must. This is um. This is also part of the GameStop thing. You also get bonuses. I think that's what they said. But in any event. That's it. Ammo capacity. Got my ammo capacity bonus. There you go. Top. Oh, crap. I don't think I recorded this. I think I had my recorder open like I do now, which I definitely know it's recording. But I dicked around on the Citadel for about five minutes before I decided I was too tired last time I was playing around. And I actually managed to recruit Dr. Mitchell in, in lieu of Dr. Chakwas, who I feel is, you know, getting a little bit too old, you know, kind of an eyesore. So I thought, you know, why don't I bring some fresh meat that I already know, or not fresh meat, excuse me. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, she's a lot younger. Hello there, Commander. She didn't get a lot of attention in the last two games, so. Good. I've been busy restocking supplies and running diagnostics. It's nice working alone in a fresh lab. I get to set up everything just the way I want. Anyway, now that you're here, I'd like to examine you. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Do you have concerns about my health? You have an extensive number of cybernetic implants. I died. Cerberus spent a fortune bringing me back. I know. That's right, they took it right out the pension funds. It'll take no time. Alright. It doesn't hurt to be safe. It won't hurt, will it? No, it's just no, an anal probe. Invasive. Spread them butt cheeks. Some implant diagnostics and take readings of your immune system. Your implants are doing quite nicely. Little sign of rejection. Keep up your current outlook and your scar shouldn't return. Thank you for indulging me. Everything looks fine. May I help you at all? I mean, I'm gonna miss Dr. Chakwas, to be honest. But, you know, it's for the best. She's kind of old. She's a veteran of two games. I wouldn't want to do anything, you know, to jeopardize her perfect retirement. If we yeah, survive. Luckily, the Med Bay was one of the first areas the retrofit team stocked. That's fortunate. Who knows how long we'll have to be self-sufficient. True. How does working on a military vessel compare to your Citadel clinic? It's a completely different experience. I like that I have fewer patients under my care. I can really focus and get to know each person. But the workday never ends here. I don't get to go home. I'm always on call. But you're making a real difference. So by being here, I'm making a difference too. True. Do you have any family? My parents are on Earth. Shit. The news is Damn. Dead. I'm sorry. But my brother is safe on the Citadel. I'll count my blessings where I can. Oh, that's always going to be a sore topic with a human. I will. All right, so pretty cool, pretty interesting difference. I mean, maybe when I play this game again, you know, I'll keep her on the Citadel and I'll take Chakwas. But, you know, just it's pretty nice they give you some diversity, let you know, you know. Oh, here we go. I can reset Shepard's powers. It looks like once for free. And now it costs money. All right, so that was actually worth it because now I get to design my powers the way I want them to. Now, the main thing that I want to say is if you remember in Mass Effect 2, I love tech armor. Tech armor was amazing. Tech armor basically is what won me insanity and helped me out on the normal game. 
But now in this game, when you take tech armor, it slows down your power usage by 80%. That's right, when you take tech armor, 80%. So even if I only took enough weapons that my power recharge speed was plus 120%, it would basically be like it was now plus 40. And I just did that math wrong, but okay. And in any event, warp is definitely one of my most useful abilities. Definitely need warp. Damage or detonation. I don't like, I'm not really going to detonate much in single player because I don't use throw. Expose, increase weapon damage taken, increase power now, I'll take more damage. Pierce, increase armor, or recharge speed. Recharge speed of 5 seconds, which I think is better. Damn, yo, in multiplayer, it's only like 3. I'll definitely take that over Pierce. Alright, so warp is maxed out. Now, obviously, I'm going to max out overload. Overload! Increase damage. Now, here's really cool. Chain overload. If you overload someone, the, the nearest person to them also gets overloaded with 60% less damage. But I'm going to take damage, and you'll see why in a second. Recharge speed. So now I can either increase damage and bar uh, damage to barriers and shields by 100%, or get chain overload, which I will take because it also increases damage. So here we go. Fitness. Obviously, the first three are mandatory. Health and shields, even though I really don't want a melee damage bonus, because I'll never melee. It's a suicide maneuver. And more shields. Alright. So, this is really good, because now I get to allocate points directly to where I need them, instead of, you know, messing around with points and shit stuff that I don't need. Influence and capacity. Look at this. Influence and damage. And that's it. But at least now my points are where I really need them. I don't have something in throw. I don't have stupid tech armor anymore. Alright, so that's good. You can reset powers. What's this? Oh, bonus powers. What does it say? Conversations with your companions lock bonus powers. Just like in Mass Effect 2. Here's the AI core. Oh, look, it's the body of, uh, Eva Corte. Just chilling there, no protection. It's all burnt out. Alright, so while I'm thinking about it, let me save. So I wonder, can I have a conversation with Liara? Right now, the only two squad mates I have are Liara and Ash, uh... Liara and um, James. This terminal contains non essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Alright, it doesn't really look like much. Let's talk to her. Again, Shepard. Oh shit, look at all this. Prothean device. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? I've already told you eight times. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. <laughs> That's believable. She would kill for something like that. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. Uh, I love these conversations. It's pretty funny. So is that... Oh, fuck. I, is I did it wrong. Yes, that's precisely... We'll talk later. We yeah, we will. I turned that ass back, right back around. Press the Hello X again, button too Shepard. many times. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship, impressive, but it was never meant to be spaceworthy. Uh. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending I flashed my tits. They were blinded by the light. Cruiser. 
I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Oh, neither did I. 